So if you're thinking about buying a Yardbird chicken plucker, you might want to watch this video before you do. So up until recently, my wife and I had been borrowing a chicken plucker from some friends of ours, and we wanted to buy our own this year, and we ended up going with the Yardbird chicken plucker. Um, we saw the reviews were pretty good from what we saw. Uh, we were kind of in a hurry to, to buy one, and we ended up getting the last one that they had available um, online. And we did like the features on it. It was actually under uh, $400 when we bought it. I think they're a little bit more now. Um, we also like the feature that you can take this apart, you take the snaps off the side and can clean on the inside. A lot of the other features that, uh, a lot of the other units that we saw out there didn't have that feature. So this past weekend we were able to use this for the first time. We had 50 birds, we still actually have 50 more to do. Um, and the unit stopped working after seven birds. Um, I'm not really sure what happened, but the GCFI unit on the plug stopped working. Um, it just started popping every time I plugged it in. Uh, there is a reset button on the, so on the side of the unit as well. I hit that, uh, reset it, it worked for a couple seconds and it stopped again. Uh, it's usually a pretty good indication that water or moisture got into the unit, um, but this was not on the ground, um, so I'm not sure how that happened. Um, there are a lot of things on here after I started researching online about different problems with this unit. And that's kind of why I'm doing this video, just to kind of give you a heads up to uh, make your own decision based, you know, I don't know if you want to base it off this video or not, but um, there's a lot of different things with this that after I got it, I realized that this was really poorly designed. So after having this plucker for a very short period of time um, and reading some reviews on Amazon and watching some YouTube videos, um, I realized more and more problems with this unit that I didn't see at first. Uh, the one thing that kind of drew us to this unit was the, uh, the wheels and the portability of it. Uh, however, the wheels are so small that it really doesn't do very much unless it's on a really flat surface and, and level surface. Um, I mean, going across a flat yard or something like that's fine, but other than that, it's very difficult to move. Um, the other issue, it doesn't have a handle to hold on to. You have to hold on to the top part of the unit, which is very flexible metal, um, and it's very uncomfortable and it's awkward to hold. Um, so I personally would have built some type of handle off the end of it. So another area of concern is the vent and the fan system, which is located at the very bottom of the unit. The problem with that is all of the water and the feathers pour out of the unit right into that fan and vent system, which it clogs up the the fan from spinning and it also clogs the vent up so no air can go through to cool the motor. So even though you do put a bucket underneath the unit to catch the feathers and the water, um, I brought this flaw design up to a woman at Yardbird and suggested that they maybe put a, a flap, a rubber flap of some kind to protect the unit itself from, from all the feathers going inside the, the fan and she agreed with me uh, but that was something that she said I could do on my own. So I was kind of surprised about that. So Yardbird designed a safety feature between the main drum and the base. Uh, where these two yellow stickers are, there's a magnet there. And from the, what the reviews I've read, uh, these magnets can move and shift. Um, that will cause the unit to stop working. Um, the other problem with the magnets is that a lot of the feathers and stuff will get jammed in the magnets and that will also stop the unit from working. So while speaking with a woman from Yardbird, she said one of the problems could be that water got into the electrical box, which you can see is located right underneath the main unit. The water just sits right on top and can leak into any of these areas where the silicone maybe perhaps didn't seal it correctly. Uh, so she wanted me to take that apart and look inside for any kind of moisture and dry it out with a hair dryer. So I don't know about you, but when I spend my money on something, I expect it to work, uh, especially only using it a couple of times. Uh, now granted, the woman I spoke with at Yardbird was very pleasant. Um, I just didn't like the answers that she was giving me. Um, I shouldn't be responsible for fixing a unit that I just bought um, or finding someone that I know that's handy. Um, and also they told us that it was a non-refundable product. So uh, I'm really glad that I saw the review on Amazon because now Amazon is actually going to refund our money and they're going to be coming to pick this up uh, and take it away here any day now. So my wife and I are looking for another chicken plucker now. We're leaning towards Coops and more. 
Uh, the last time we saw online though, they were sold out. We're hoping that they have some available soon um, and we won't have the same problems that we'd had with this unit. So thanks for watching and if you're in the market for a chicken plucker, I hope this video was helpful.